previously on 10 tries. Look at that glow. I don't have the money for that. I'm not cheap. I'm recycling. Wink. And I made a pretty dumb mistake. Since I'm cheap and I like a challenge, I'm going to replicate it. Seems straightforward enough. Are you ready to watch me fail repeatedly? This is 10 tries. It appears there may not have been enough pressure in the sprue to fill the voids with molten aluminum. That should be easy enough to fix. I simply lengthen the sprue and tighten the spacing on the parts to fit in the cup. I must have pushed the strength of the plaster beyond its limits because the cracking in the mold was clearly extensive. You can tell there are blocky chunks of plaster that broke off and shifted inside the cavity where the aluminum should be. Again, we see printer lines in these areas. The good news is that all the other issues up to this point have been all but resolved. So it seems the plaster is breaking apart because of thermal stress. Basically, some parts of the plaster are expanding as they get hotter and other parts are taking a little longer to heat up and expand. If you recall, I've been increasing the temperature of the furnace in steps. This is because the temperature controller I am using increases the temperature to a set point and holds it. To reduce the thermal stress, I increase the temperature in smaller, quicker steps. That should significantly reduce the temperature differences and thermal stresses inside the plaster. Also. I added a small amount of Portland cement to my formula. Wow, that is so much better. There was still one part that broke off here but if I'm being honest, expecting that narrow, unsupported part to stay connected is a little ambitious. Looking back on previous tries, I'm seeing that my plaster density has been very inconsistent. In the last try, my density was only about 0.3 grams per milliliter. That's one third the density of water and one sixth the density of pure plaster. I'm altering the proportions to achieve an investment plaster that is about 50% more dense than the last try. The water and soap seems to determine the final volume, so all I should have to do is keep the water and soap constant while increasing all the other ingredients by 50%. This should reduce the large bubbles in the plaster and significantly increase plaster strength. Alright, now that's pretty nice. While I was pouring, I overdid it. A little bit. I over poured and some of my vents got covered by aluminum. You can see here that air was trapped and formed a bubble underneath the aluminum. That prevented this wheel looking part from fully forming. Changing the temperature of my furnace every 15 minutes was very time consuming, so I automated that process a bit with a little soldering and a bit of Python code. Plus, it logs the actual temperature as it runs. If you'd like to see more, you can visit my website, 10 slash projects. I had some technical difficulties on this one. My furnace heating element burned up right before the metal was hot enough to pour. After I reheated the furnace, metal, and plaster mold slowly, I was ready to pour again. There are some defects, but considering the trouble I ran to, heating and reheating, it isn't too bad. I'm pretty happy with how these parts turned out. I have a feeling they'll work well. If you'd like to know what these parts are used for, 
The video for that project will be available next Sunday. If I had an 11th try, what would you do differently? Post it in the comments below.